I just arrived in Seattle. I have something really, really cool to show you guys. Seattle is notoriously known for being just weird and strange. I did a quick Google search the other night and I found so many things I didn't even know existed. And some really, really cool things. <laughs> Dude, check this out, check this out. The sign is like right over there. You can see it just peeking. I can almost guarantee the fact that you've seen that sign before. This is the Pike Place Market and it's kind of a staple of Seattle. I, I want to take you guys inside because there are a lot of weird things inside this market. You'll, you'll see what I mean. They throw fish, they get fish that people buy. And they just, I don't know why they do it, I don't know the history, but it's really, really cool. But if you think this is weird, I gotta show you guys what's right downstairs. This is probably one of the grossest tourist attractions I've ever seen. The gum wall, and it's kind of self-explanatory. My camera's right here, and there's just a piece of gum dangling right above it. That's foul. I didn't know that cars could drive through here. Just stick your gum on the wall, or the floor, or windows, or anywhere. <laughs> just threw it? <laughs> this whole area of Seattle is really strange where there's the Pike Place Market, there's obviously the gum wall. My camera's about to fall, jeez. And then there's this spot. There's like some really weird shops, so I kind of want to check them out. It, they open in 20 minutes. This place is so interesting. There's just so many weird little things that you wouldn't ever expect. And I feel like stuff like this kind of proves my point. So, um, behind me are two mummies. They're kind of creepy. I am not going to show the mummies. They're really creepy. I also don't want YouTube to flag my video. Brian, I'm pretty sure they're fake. You think they are? Bro. Oh, look, like, there's dinosaur finger puppets. That. Yeah, that's obviously fake, bro. I guess you gotta always watch where you're walking. We were just walking, and out of that alleyway just came that. What the heck? <laughs> Joe! It's been a million years, bro. What's up, man? This is Joe. What's up? He's gonna be our ride for like the next three days, so just like, I don't know, thank Joe in the comments, he's cool. I love the fact that it's totally normal to see a pirate ship on the street. This right here, this is the biggest ripoff in Seattle. Let me explain. Dude, we have three people with us. That, that would be $122 just to go on top of this tower. I have something so much better. So this is Cary Park, and unlike going on top of the Space Needle, this is completely free. It beats going on top of the Space Needle, and the Space Needle was just so overpriced. We got one heck of an adventure with the, the scooters, and we get this view. All right, we are leaving Cary Park, and we are going to one of the weirdest places I've seen here in Seattle.
Thank you so much. Yep. Dude. Oh, I scratched up this lens. Bad. Oh, no, dude. I, I don't know what to do, so I got a burger. It's hard for me because I'm fighting between finishing this film and how do I fix my GoPro. And I'm torn and it's... That's why I got the burger. So the last time I was here was like a year ago and there was like 10,000 homeless people here. So this is the Fremont Troll. It's a troll located in the city of Fremont. It's literally under a massive bridge and it's, it's awesome. So I'm gonna climb it. Yeah, so that's the Fremont Troll, one of the wackiest things. I, I, I love the fact that stuff like this just exists. A long time ago, this house belonged to a woman by the name of Edith Macefield. All her surrounding land got bought up and became a massive shopping complex. She was offered a whole one million dollars to sell her house to the shopping complex so that they could have the whole complex, and she didn't. She refused the million dollars, and she continued to live here. The reason this house got so famous and so popular was because of the striking resemblance that her story had to the story of Disney's movie Up. Do you like it? Yes, thank you so much. There it is. That's literally what I need. This is the Joe appreciation bit of the film. While he's over there purchasing my brand new GoPro Max for me, totally saving the day. He's also signed up to drive us for the next three days. Joe is the reason any of this trip is actually happening. Thank Joe in the comments, he's the best. Thank you Joe for saving me, saving tomorrow's video and even making this trip possible. Got it. Let's get out of town. Let's get back to the hotel.